Hey guys, so today I've got the, it's newer, but it's been on Volition's site for a while. I picked it up from them, but it just came to Sephora recently there. Uh, hibiscus Unspottable Correcting Oil. Uh, and as you can see, I haven't used a whole ton of it. I picked it up, I think at the end of December. Uh, I thought it was an older product to them, but now it's just at Sephora. So I thought I would do a quick first impression since I really haven't used it uh, a lot because of a few issues. Uh, it's got some really good oils in there. However, it has some fragrance in there, such as lavender oil and spikenard oil, which you don't see quite often, but it's more of an essential oil. It does have antibacterial, antifungal properties, but it also is kind of an essential oil, which is also used for its fragrance. So it is slightly fragrant uh, with, with you when you've got those in there. Uh, it takes a while for the scent to dissipate. It's a not the strongest scent, but it is kind of sticks around for a while. So uh, anyway, so if you have sensitive skin, probably not the best option. Also kind of more pricey, although the bottle's 1.1 ounces. I think it retails at Sephora for like $49, which is about right around what I paid for it. Um, but overall, it's rather hydrating. It's got some good ingredients in there. Licorice root for uh, brightening the skin is in there. Sa safflower oil. Uh, then we've got uh, marula oil in there as well, uh, but even just after applying it a, a few seconds ago, that scent is still rather strong. So I haven't noticed it made much of a difference for dark spots or anything like that. It just doesn't really have enough, in my opinion, ingredients to fully make a huge difference on them. If you have a big issue with dark spots, I think you're better off using something with more alpha hydroxy or beta hydroxy acids a retinol, a vitamin C, any of those three products or any combination of those are going to do a great job. Or I always recommend the Alpha Skin Care Dual Action Skin Lightener, which made a huge difference in my hyperpigmentation. I had really bad on my forehead uh, several, several years ago, right when I started to get interested in skincare and things. So that one has made a huge difference because of the good ingredients in here. This one, in my opinion, doesn't have quite enough, but it is hydrating and it does help hydrate the skin and leaves it feeling nice and soft and hydrated and smooth, moisturized and layers pretty well. But if you have sensitive skin or really have a huge issue with dark spots or pigmentation issues, probably not the product to go with, but I do like it as an oil and for its hydrating uh, effects. But other than that, the ingredients in here just aren't enough to really do a ton in terms of treating pigmentation, dark spots, uh, post-acne, inflammatory uh, pigmentation, things like that. I think you're better off going with something else, but adding this into your routine might help, although I don't recommend recommend using in the daytime because certain ingredients like lavender oil can kind of give you sometimes, especially if you don't use sunscreen, kind of the reverse effect because it can be kind of toxic with, with when it reacts to the sun and things like that. So it's okay. Not my favorite product from them. I really like the brand. They've got some fun things. Their sunscreen's amazing. But this one isn't my favorite, although it's not the worst. So anyway, I thought I would just share my initial thoughts with you. Although they're not very initial because I've had it for a month. But anyway, those are my thoughts on it. So uh, I'm interested if you guys have tried this or if you have any tricks for pigmentation issues or a miracle product. Definitely leave a comment and let everyone know. So uh, thank you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow.